Get ready, get ready for some frigid temperatures for tonight. A wintry mix as we're heading into Sunday, but we are going to see a winter warm up. Take a look at this spectacular a sunset picture submitted to me by Charles Baldwin. Absolutely beautiful. I am loving this. This actually looks like a postcard. Uh, very winter setting. Uh, got the house in the background. Got the uh, the pond as well as that gorgeous sunset. So thanks, Charles, for sending that in. That is just breathtaking across uh, the, the colors are unbelievable. Well, you could see a, we actually did probably see a beautiful sunset tonight with partly cloudy skies across the area. Very quiet, calm conditions as well as we're looking at uh, the Macon sky cam uh, kind of happening. Got a few cars out and about in Macon at this hour. Temperatures we're looking about 13 degrees uh, with light winds out of the northeast around five. Put the windshield. Yeah, bundle up. It's about six is what it feels like in Macon. Temperatures across the area into the single digits except for Macon and Myland and Edina uh, still into the low teens. Three degrees is what it feels like in Ottumwa. Four in Fairfield, nine in Kirksville as well as Unionville and Lancaster coming in around six degrees. Well, we do have some the light winds remaining out of the northeast at around five to 10 miles per hour. That's actually putting the wind chill feeling like zero right at the goose egg in uh, Kirksville. Eight degrees below in Ottumwa. One degree is what it feels like in Fairfield. So temperatures, I told you they are going to be plummeting for tonight. Four degrees below zero for tonight. Put a couple extra blankets on the bed uh, with mostly clear skies. Wind chills feeling like eight to 13 degrees below zero. It's already feeling close to that right now across, to, especially into southeast Iowa. So here's what we're looking at for the weekend. High pressure continues to slide off to the east. Uh, we'll see dry conditions for tonight and most of it as we're heading into Saturday. We'll see mostly sunny skies, but a nice warm up that's moving in. Along with that, we do have a chance for a wintry mix, but let's talk about this warm front because it's going to slide in as we're heading into about the midnight time frame. That means our overnight lows are going to come shortly after midnight and slowly rise as we're heading into the overnight as we are sleeping as well as this moisture that's going to be moving in very early on Sunday morning. Here comes that cold front that's going to sweep through the area and temperatures are going to be only into the low to mid 30s as are high on Sunday. So that means that moisture is going to be in the form of freezing rain, a winter rate mix at that. Uh, so again, the roads are going to be slick out there on Sunday morning as well as we're heading into the afternoon and evening hours as this cold front continues to slide off and the moisture as well. The clouds will stick around. We still could see some freezing drizzle uh, into Friday into Sunday evening. Most of that should be out of here by midnight and those temperatures though. The good news is they're going to remain above freezing as we're heading into Monday and early next week. So that is the bright spot as far as those temperatures. We've been uh, feeling very cold this week. We're going to start to warm things back up as we're heading into it next week. As far as how much precipitation right now, if that storm system stays on the same track, we're looking less than a tenth of an inch, really more like five hundredths of an inch as far as precipitation amounts all across southeast Iowa and into northeast Missouri. But again, it's not going to take very much with that um, freezing drizzle and wintry mix to make those roads very slick out there on Sunday. The Weekend planner is looking like this. Two degrees below zero starting things out on Saturday morning. Close to 11 degrees at noon. 14 degrees as we're heading into the early evening hours. Sunday though, temperature wise, here comes the warmer air moving in. 28 degrees at 8 a.m. Right at the freezing mark at noontime with that wintry mix continuing as we're heading into the afternoon hours. Seven day forecast upper 30s for Monday and Tuesday. And the heat wave continues 41 degrees on Wednesday. Unfortunately, we have the next storm system is going to bring us some colder temperatures as well as a chance for snow Wednesday night and into Thursday as those temperatures continue to fall. 31 degrees on Thursday, Friday looking at 21 overnight lows into the 20s. Of course, anytime check us out 24 seven at KTVO.com. So Sunday is not going to be a very pretty day uh, with that wintry mix. So people just need to uh, Take it easy out there if they're heading on out on the roadways. All right, thanks for the heads up, Teresa. Well. Coming up next, Fred with sports. He joins us right after this.